President William Ruto, his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa, and Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi are out of the country. And uh, the president is scheduled to attend the 78th UN General Assembly from the 19th of September after meeting tech giants in the U.S. As for his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa, he is expected to attend the G77 summit in Colombia from the 14th to the 16th of September. Back home, this meeting means that there is a leadership vacuum in the absence of the president and his deputy. NTV's Milita Oletengiz interrogates. Since President William Ruto took the oath of office, there has been no scenario in which the president and his deputy have been out of the country at the same time. In situations where the president has been on foreign trips, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has been in charge. But this time, it's different. Both are out of the country, on official duty. In a statement to newsrooms dated Wednesday, 13th September, State House spokesperson Hussein Mohammed said President Ruto will visit Silicon Valley in San Francisco, meet tech leaders, and thereafter attend the 78th United Nations General Assembly session in New York. Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, left the country on 10th of September. He is expected to attend the G77 summit in Colombia from, the from 14th to 16th September. Now, a line of succession is not a line of absentia. So the, the lawyers will probably have to uh, crank it out for us and tell us, number one, if the president being out of the country is absentia and therefore he should have handed over uh, presidency temporarily to someone else, or whether he can continue to act in his capacity as president wherever he is because he has not designated anybody else to act as president and neither can he do so. In 2014, the fourth president, Uhuru Kenyatta, handed over power to his then deputy William Ruto by appending his signature to a decree. He surrendered power to attend court at The Hague. The transfer of power was dramatic with the president arriving at parliament to a guard of honor and the national anthem and leaving his office at Harambe House without the usual ceremony of a presidential escort. Now, of course, that was a political uh, gambit because at the time he was dealing with his ICC cases. So he needed to show the country that the country will move on even in his absence. Uh, now, the problem with that is that when he left the country many times over, it was immediately assumed that uh, his deputy then, William Ruto, would act, uh, a, would fill in that position. In 2017, during the launch of the standard gauge railway from Nairobi to Mombasa, the then Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, was reportedly restricted by security agencies from leaving the parliament precincts until the train, which had the fourth president Uhuru Kenyatta and the then Deputy President William Ruto on board, arrived in Nairobi. Constitutionally, the Speaker of the National Assembly is third in the pecking order. The absence of the president and his deputy raises questions on crucial security decisions and more so in the event of a crisis. So there is a security question in terms of uh, having both leaders of government being out of the country and then there is a security question in the sense that if the president needed to make certain legal actions, so for example, if we were attacked, God forbid, by, by uh, a foreign power, what would he do? Would he be able to command the army from where he is. Until the president or his deputy return to the country, the center of power in the country is not elaborated in law, with no official transfer of power to the speaker of the National Assembly. Milita, Oletenges, NTV.